Track two, two, my test. One, two, three. I'm sorry I missed the rest of your stream last night. I just got home from the ER, so I'll be looking for a bit until I get up to my laptop. No worries, Taco. It's all good. You were definitely missed. Um, but it's okay. Thank you for being here either way. <laughs> Today is my last day off. I almost went like my last day of Twitch. My last day um, off. I've had the last three days off. And I'm going back to work. I work through Saturday. And feeling a little anxious about going back. And like many of you probably woke up with a heavy feeling on your chest. Maybe you were anxious about whatever it may be. Let me just tell you that your feelings are valid. Look, I'll be completely transparent. Did not like how the day started. I like how the day ended. Um, I found some light despite this rather heavy day. And um, it has been quite the whirlwind, if you will. So let's just... Let's just be here for one another. Community. I think what honestly got me through today was that sense of community. Like, I put out a little blurb on my Instagram stories and basically said I need a hug. <laughs> and to the, to the wonderful people that have responded and checked in, thank you. Um, and thank you to the people who uh, physically showed up for me today thank you i appreciate y'all and I just again know wherever you are right now whatever you're feeling it's completely valid okay now am i spiraling a little bit i mean let's let's be quite honest it's it's a lot to take in and i just i need to kind of keep myself busy maybe you can call this coping maybe you can call this disassociating maybe you can call this therapy <laughs> that is so badly needed um i just know community lifts all of us up and i'm turning to this community um for that sense of safe safety and love and appreciation for one another like coggles coggles thank you for 52 months appreciate you You're gutted. I am too, Coggles. I am too. Um, you know, last night I was, um, I said, I, I, I had voted in the afternoon. My mom took my mom to the, the polls. We did a stream in the afternoon, like late, like early afternoon yesterday with Merge. I don't know if some of y'all caught that. And then when my mom got home, which is right after like the stream ended, Around that time, I walked over to the polls. I came back and I streamed again. And uh, I, I I said this to the chat. I was like, "This is not a political stream. I'm not going to be like, hey, who would you vote for? I don't really care. And, and I, I I just wanted to make sure that people voted, and it was good. There was a lot of y'all that voted, and I'm I'm glad to see that. And I said, I don't want to talk about the numbers. I know some y'all are watching the play by play of it all. I don't want to not because I've been there before. I've been devastated." And it's just it just adds to my anxiety. Um, but Coggles, let me be uh, one of the many people, if not the first, to validate whatever you're feeling. Because uh, I'm, I'm definitely singing a different tune today than I was yesterday. Yesterday, I was like, let's not talk about it. And I think today, it's the elephant in the room. You can't not talk about it. 
So I'm going to talk about it. Um, and I just decided I'm going to talk about it after you wrote those two words, Coggles. I'm gutted. I'm devastated. I'm so confused. I woke up with a heavy feeling in my chest, not necessarily like an elephant on my chest, but it just felt so unsettling because I knew what was coming. And when I... Sarai. Sarai. I see you on that Twitters. I'm not going to call it an X. I'm going to call it Twitters. You just pioneering and campaigning and, and, and sharing the love and holding on to every bit of hope. Uh, but I, yeah, I woke up this morning and I, I, I didn't want to see what I wanted to see. And I, I, I popped on the little Google and lo and behold, there it was. And my mouth was agape. And I, I still have not conjured up the words to express what I'm feeling. And I don't even know what it is I'm feeling. So I know that I just have to allow myself the permission to feel whatever it is. I will say that I I didn't cry um, in the morning. It wasn't until I, I saw her uh, speech when she conceded uh, to the race. I That's when I cried. Um... Oh, thanks, Michael. I really am still is actually in the battleground here in Arizona where I live. Oh, yes. And the fact that you were in Arizona, the battleground states. Uh, I don't know if you saw Sarai. I, I, I shared something on my on my Instagram. But I, for the last two and a half months, was doing phone banking and volunteering. And we were talking to those battleground states. Um, Michigan, Georgia, Pennsylvania, specifically Pennsylvania, um, Wisconsin, all of those battleground states that we needed in order to secure the the the, um, the electoral college and it was tough I'll tell you that but I, every every moment that I had to 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 call voters I I dedicated dedicated that time I left home this morning at 7 a.m. without talking to anyone. Went on a hike from 8 to noon. Just kind of mind. Yeah, I hope that helped, Brandon Lawrence. I really do. I think, again, we need each other now more than ever. Um, and, and, and just try to continue your life. I know it's unsettling. This is very scary. I don't know. I don't know. You, what I do know is that we, we can't stop can't stop fighting we can't stop our lives we're not gonna let that defeat defeat us what words <laughs> don't let that defeat defeat you you know what I mean because it's it's not because somewhere in there there's a silver lining that's a win it's amazing so you and I both know what it was really like oh yeah I called some Arizona voters and some uh, yes there was some that was like yay cool we got their vote and the others were just so on the other side of the spectrum hang in there y'all i know it seems like they've been calling it for sure we still have hope in the states they're still releasing the accounts so right i'm with you on that i'm also i don't know if you're on the tiktok tiktokers where like the astrology girls and and boys are kind of like don't worry y'all the stars like i listen i don't want to live in the world of the lulu but i will hold on to any any string of hope i can possibly conjure up hi Allie, how are you Hi, Michael. Ah, exactly. Let's let's say it together. Ah. Um, so you you maybe this is a good thing for y'all. You might get an influx of lots of streams from me because I'm I'm coping. I'm, I'm trying to you know figure out. Just trying to process. You know. There's soap. I don't know why I feel like she's gonna have a turnaround. Sarai, Sarai, like I'm, you know, is she going to be like, gotcha, I, I, I know, I know there, there's still votes to be counted, I know that there's, in the news, I saw like Pennsylvania voters were being turned away, literally turned away while they were in line well before the polls closed, a little sus, I also think it's sus that uh, they called it less than 24 hours after the election night, right? 
less than 24 hours when the polls closed, they were like, oh, that's it. When, remember, um, when Biden ran in 2020, there was some discrepancies happening, not only because Trump wanted to um, call election fraud, and they had, they were counting ballots until like that weekend. We didn't find out until three, four, maybe five days after. You want a shopping spree to cope? Now I'm chilling. And Allie, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that we failed people like you, human beings like us. Um, and women. I'm sorry America failed us. Failed you. Yes, I just heard that people in different states were getting knocked on by people with iPads saying they'd cast their votes right there. I, that makes me so mad. Uh, and one of the things I did as a, as a volunteer is because I was seeing those reports. I was like, please, 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 you're mailing ballots. If somebody shows up at your doorstep and says, hey, we're going to collect your ballots. And they have some, nobody should be doing that. Nobody collects your ballots at your doorstep. There's just, and considering how conniving America can be, you know what I mean? So, sir, I, I, let's let's hold on to whatever hope that we can. You did mail-in ballot yourself, exactly, except the mailman. <laughs> yeah, unless, unless it's not an official mailman. Sir, I, did you watch the the Harris speech today? Her closing speech. Oh no, more two can streams. How sad. <laughs> I guess you wanted more of me. Here you go. Um, good for you, Allie. I'm my heart hurts because I'm such an empathic person. This this stings. It oddly doesn't sting as much as the first time around when 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 Hillary ran. It's reminiscent of those feelings, but it just I feel like we're living in a different timeline I just I don't know I haven't actually did watch a little clip on TikTok though um yeah that it's the moment I definitely wept is is watching that speech and for her to go up there with so much grace and love and empathy uh, that was a great TikTok that I saw so I was like notice how um we didn't storm the capitol yeah, very mindful, very demure. <laughs> and it's true. It's true. Hold on, I gotta change some display settings. Screensaver? Sorry, I'm trying to fix my laptop. Yes, because unlike some people, we know how to take the possible L. Uh, yeah. And that that's the epitome of leadership right there. Coggles, are you okay? You only said two things in here, or one thing, and I'm 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 my my heart hurts. Are you okay, Coggles? Can we get a hug for Coggles? Can we just give hugs all around? We're just gonna be that group. Hug everybody everyone giving you all a hug i could use a hug i literally said it how do you change mm. standby what is it called Lock screen, screen saver. Yes, hugs. Hang on, chat. Oh, 
screen saver. Lock screen saver. I don't see it. Ah, here we go. That has been 20 minutes. Oh, here we go. Turn display off. After an hour. Probably gonna kill the battery, but it's fine. Oh, geez. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Is it though? All right. So. I'm gonna hug you, Coggles. I don't know where you are, but thank you for the uh, 52 months and the tier three sub, y'all. Crazy. Speaking of subs, I'm trying to push for partner plus so that creators like me can um, get a bigger revenue payout. Because if y'all don't know, an affiliate on Twitch gets 50% of revenue. So. Basically, the more stream support you get, the more you can get on that pay. Obviously, the best way to support is um, donations, specifically. Just putting that out there. I would like to sing something. Because music... Is always um, an escape and a way for me to cope with what I'm feeling because what I can't say in words, I can say in song. So, I love y'all. Hang in there. I want you to stay. Say it. 
double double the applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I love that song. Birds of a feather. We should stick together. Yes, and we should. There you are, Coggles. Coggles, we gave you a hug. Can everyone give hugs to Coggles? Exclamation point hug. Exclamation point hug at Cogglesworth. Um, sing it, y'all, as if you remember. I knew you were Taco, but I'm like the other ones, you know what I mean? Also, look, I'm happy the election season is going to be finally over. I'm excited to not see the same five hats on every video with the same regurgitating. Same, Allie. Same. Same. And you know what? I might sing a little Christmas music earlier than anticipated just to cope. Hugal, yes. Hugal. Hugal. <laughs> Hugal. Um, the re requests are open if you want to hear anything specifically i can bring up any song in chat the vocals are vocaling i do have some good news do you want to hear do you want to hear some good news perhaps uh i had my third eval with um my um voice people they were they were assessing my voice improvements have been made significantly we are doing really really good staying right in the pocket of uh of recovery and we're going to be on our way. We're be on our way. Taco, thank you for the 41 months. Which says today's your anniversary. That's great news. Yay. Thank you for 41 months, Taco. I appreciate you very much. If there's a song I could sing for you or bow can sing for you for your 41 months, please let me know. Best news of the day. Yes. Yes. Spread some good news. If, if the news you have to report today, chat, is, hey, all I did was breathe. Great. If all you did was breathe today, that's a win, okay? Today, um, started very somber, but then um, some friends reached out and, and checked in on me, and I, I, I got to meet my friend uh, Tao for dinner, and it was really nice because we had a nice um, um, dinner eating Korean food. Delicious. I had uh, a bulgogi bibimbap on like a hot stone. Delicious. But not only that, uh, we got to just talk and, and catch up. And it was much needed. I think we both needed each other's company. And that's what it's all about. And and there was a moment while I was eating the meal and I looked out over over to her and smiled. And in my head, I just go, yeah, okay. A little a sense of normalcy is happening here. Um, we're still alive, breathing, grateful, blessed. And uh, we, keep, we keep on keeping on. Did you take food pics? I did, Taco. You know, I'm a big foodie. Of course I did. Of course I did. Hold on. Taco's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I resubbed. Show me food pics. Yeah. I actually, there's some food pics that just developed. Let's watch them together. Here we go. This is the app Laps, and it, it's like a, um, like a disposable camera sort of deal. Very like be real. You take the photo. You don't get to see the photo till later on. Let's see. Let's take a look at the photo. Here we go. Della developed the photos. Look at that. That's the spread of uh, like side dishes. It's very like BCD tofu house. If, if ever, anyone's ever been there. This is my bibimbap bop right here. Look at that. It was really good. And I don't know what it is. I think, you know, the universe knew that I was going to be going through it. Um, so every time I've ordered food this week, I got bowls that have like protein in it, beef and things. And it's always been a like a plethora of protein in there and i'm very thankful because sometimes restaurants can 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 cheat you out of a meal and we'll say like yeah it's a whole thing and they barely put like three pieces of meat in there and everything is rice good portion like amount to rice and and the protein so yes and then i also um on monday with merge she and i had like an impromptu um dinner we went to a thai food restaurant um and i had curry and they put a lot of protein in there so that's good news wow is that kimchi wait which one sarai let's go look at them again so oh this okay so on the top is the bulgogi and it came with like i think carrots and potatoes and stuff or onions it was really delicious this is kimchi over here kimchi there was um Oh, I love pickled, not pickled, um, um, 
spicy cucumber that's good spicy pickled cucumber and then um other side dishes like fish cake spicy fish cake really delicious the spreads yes Ooh, yum i'm so hungry but so nauseous it's okay taco one bite at a time go grab like a a, a cracker or something <laughs> you love kimchi uh excuse me okay pickled food though okay i used to not like pickled anything but i'm here for pickled onions pickled cucumbers i get it i know you like okra i like fried okra my parents do not like okra a lot of people don't like it because of the slimy texture of it um but i i i, I like fried okra that's good i actually had some amazing carne asada fries and they were the best made my day better yes yeah, see there we go celebrate your wins celebrate your wins here's some news to share dogs are just as cool if not now more than ever you've only ever had okra pickled i want to try it fried yeah where did i get it first time i tried fried okra was at church's chicken you can get it. i think they still have it lila's the coolest dog carne asada fries sounds so good i was kind of jealous my cousin made um what she found uh, like a TikTok recipe of how to make chipotle's guacamole which is really good and uh my mom was over there and they were having a little soiree because over there they're celebrating um i can't speak for everyone in the household but there's one of them that is on the other side so they're celebrating and i just didn't find it good for my mental health to be in that space Celebrate your wins. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. I want you to do that, Chad. I want you to 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 recognize the wins for today. If you woke up today and you were able to smile, you you were able to breathe. That is a win. So celebrate them. All right. Let's see. Is there a song for me? Nothing. Okay. If you have a song request, let me know. We're going to do some chaperone. There's this um, funny TikTok. I, t humor is the way I, I cope through all this, and I've just been liking lots of funny TikToks. And the one about, like, um, we didn't ask for a fem phenomenon. Feminomenon. We asked for a phenomenon. Phenomenon. <laughs> like felon. <laughs> All right, here's some Trapel Ronin. This is a red wine supernova. We're going to sing it out. Come on, chat. Here we go. She was a playboy, Bridget Bardot. She showed me things I didn't know. She did it right there. Out on the deck, put her canine teeth in the side of my neck. I'm in the hallway waiting for you. Mini skirt and my go-go boots. I just want you to make a move. So slow down, sit down, it's new. I just want to get to know you. Guess I didn't quite think it through. Fell in love with the thought of you. Now I'm choked up, first face down, burnt out. <laughs> Baby, why don't you come over? Red wine, supernova, falling into me. I don't get that you're a stoner. Red wine supernova falling into me. Come on, chat. Now, I like what you like. Long hair, <laughs> that's my type. You just told me, want me to fuck you. Baby, I will, cause I really want to. I'm in the hallway waiting for you. Mm, 
them as go-go boots. That's right. <laughs> I just want you to make a move. So slow down, sit down. It's new, baby. Why don't you come over? Red wine, supernova, falling into me. Let's pick it up now. I don't care that you're a stoner. Red wine, supernova, falling into me. Well, back in my house, I got a California king. Okay, maybe it's a twin bed and some roommates. Don't worry, we're cool. I heard you like magic. I got a wand and a rabbit. So baby, let's get freaky. Let's make this bed get squeaky now, baby. Why don't you come over? Red wine, supernova, falling into me. I don't care that you're a stoner. Red wine, supernova, falling to me. It's a phenomenon. <laughs> phenomenon. A little chaperoning. Okay. Yay. I gotta go to sleep. I have to wake up early tomorrow to debrief for the audition I was with. But yeah. Yes, sir, I stay hopeful. I'm gonna be watching your tweets and stuff. Because the minute we hear something new that's that maybe is gonna change whatever it is, I know I'm gonna hear it from you. <laughs> um, sending you peace, love, and all the happiness to you, Sarai. Have a great rest of your week. Hope to see you back here soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for for doing what you do. Red wine, supernova. I want to pick like a upbeat song chat. What song should we sing? Something upbeat. Probably not going to find it on this playlist because all of my karaoke songs are sad. <laughs> or we could do musical theater. I'm keeping my ears open for you. Yes, you got it. You are on it. You are on it. Like white on rice. It's on like Donkey Kong. Uh, have you heard of Nerdy Prudes Must Die? No. No. I don't know what that is. Toucan. Yes. I don't know. Please watch on YouTube at some point. I want you to learn some of the songs. Okay. I'm not going to play it right now on the compoopers because it's going to slow down my stream. You know what? You know what we need? You might be opposed to this. Or maybe you might like it. But... We need some buble. <laughs> Bear with me, but we need some buble. Always. Coggles, get the buble ready. I don't know. I feel like somebody needs it. I need it. Some good, happy, feel good music. Upbeat. You're a fallen star. You're the getaway car, you're the line in the sand when I go too far. You're the swimming pool on an August day, and you're the perfect thing to say. And you play it coy, but it's kind of cute. Oh, and you smile at me, you know exactly what you do. Baby, don't pretend that you don't know it's true. Cause you can see it when I look at you And in this crazy life And through these crazy 
times it's you, it's you You make me sing your every line Your every word, your everything Oh yeah, I need it You're a falling star You're the getaway car You're the line in the sand When I go too far You're the swimming pool On an August day and you're the perfect thing to say And it's kind of cute But then I'm in bed And I get to kiss you baby Just because I can Whatever comes our way Oh, we'll see it through And you know that's what a love can do And we're in this crazy life And through these crazy times It's you, it's you you make me sing your every line, your every word, your everything. Yeah. There we go. I love it, Taco. Are we ready for the key change? And so la 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 la. So lie, la, 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 and in all this crazy life, and through these crazy times, it's you, it's you, you make me sing your every line, your every word, your everything. Your every song And I sing along Cause you're my everything yeah. Um, yeah So la, 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 la Come on, Taco So la, 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 la Lie, 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 lie. Oh, that was fun. I, yes. I needed that. We needed that. Yeah, more buble? I think so. We have three Lila songs. Hey there, Delilah. The, 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 um, the Noah Khan song. And this one. Lila. It's called Everything, parentheses, Lila. <laughs> more buble. That is, I need more like feel good songs like that. Buble, karaoke. Are you karaoke? Are you karaoke? Oh, this is a good one. Okay, Taco. Would you like me to do Sometimes Now or One More Buble Song? I'll give you the choice. Your voice matters. Your vote matters. You get to decide. The choice is yours. Sometimes? Doesn't matter to me. Okay, great. Do I have to pick? <laughs> I know it's a lot of work. It's okay, and I don't. I don't mean that by saying like condescendingly. I'm like I know. I know it's a lot, especially today to do. Um, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna add Michael's choice. We're do. We'll do one more. Um, Michael Bublé, and then we'll switch over to Michael Barnum, the other Michael B. So give me a moment. I'm just gonna move. This. We'll do sometimes next. Okay, cool. Yay. It feels super late, but it's only 9 o'clock. All right. We're going to do one of my favorite um, Buble songs. Oh, my God. I love this one. I don't believe he was the original artist for it, but I think it was written for somebody else, and then it went to him, and he made it a hit. If you know it. 
because sometimes there's no place <laughs> like home. Another summer day has come and gone away in Paris and Rome, but I want to go home. Maybe surrounded by a million people, I still feel all alone, just want to go home. Oh, I miss you, you know. I've been keeping all the letters that I wrote to you Each one a line or two I'm fine, baby, how are you? Well, I would send them, but I know that it's just not enough My words were cold and flat And you deserve more than that Another airplane, another sunny place I'm lucky, I know, but I want to go home mm, I got to go home Let me go home I'm just too far from where you are I want to come home What's up, dude, in Mesa? You're in Mesa, Arizona, I assume. Yeah, Arizona doesn't participate in uh, time changes. And I feel just like I'm living someone else's life. It's like I just stepped outside when everything was coming right. And I know just why you could not come along with me That this was not your dream But you always believed in me Another winter day has come and gone away And even Paris and Rome And I wanna go on let me go home And I'm surrounded by a million people I still feel alone Just let me go home Oh, I miss you, you know Let me go home I've had my run Baby, I'm done I gotta go home Let me go home oh, 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 oh. It'll all be alright I'll be home tonight I'm coming back home I forget who that song is actually written for. I don't believe it's it's Bublé's to begin with. Uh, Duda Mesa, thank you so much. Oh, Taco, are you crying? With with Ryan P. Murray's uh, "Cry Bear." All right. We'll get to sometimes here in a moment. Drink some water. How's everyone doing? Due to Mesa, how you doing? How you doing? Ryan hasn't gone live in weeks. Uh, yeah. Um, he and his wife are expecting. So they're probably busy with that. I'm not sure when his wife's due, though. Tonight is one of his stream nights, but he's not here yet. Very tired. I feel that. I'm tired, too. And I have I I go back to work <laughs> tomorrow. Um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 
He had an interview. Oh, my gosh. For another position? That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I've um, got to check in with him soon. Thanks for the vibe, Student Mesa. I love it. A coding job. That's cool. I don't know how to code. Anyone into that? And I'm surrounded by a million people I Just know, chat, you always have a safe space here. Okay? And if you uh, ever need someone to talk to, the VOD is up, I believe. We have a Discord. Speaking of VODs, I did just export the um, streams from yesterday. Yesterday? Whoa. Why does it feel like election day was like two days ago? It was literally just yesterday. This is why I'm thinking like it's, they called it so early. Anyway, um, the two streams that were yesterday, they're now been exported. They should be up shortly. Time is so slow right now. I know, fall back, spring forward. You know what, Taco? We said we're not going back, but then the time said, hold my drink. Did it not? Said we're not going back, but the time said, hold up, we are. And so we're back in the pack. Also, you put sometimes on hold for a few Lala wants to pot again. Yeah, no worries. I love how when I searched Buble, Bubbly came up with Colby Calais. <laughs> time, where's my drink? <laughs> Okay. Dude in Mesa, if you want to hear something, let me know. We're going to put sometimes on hold. I'm trying to find some like chill songs to karaoke it up to. Ooh, flowers. I could buy myself flowers. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I love me some Miley Cyrus. Not to brag, but she and I released songs in the same year. Uh, let's see if we could find the flowers. Oh, look at that. Yes. The I think the first VOD is up now. You can check the VODs channel. Exclamation point VODs. Flowers, Miley Cyrus, male karaoke. Let's see. Because you just tell those people who don't give you the time of day. You know what I mean? You could buy yourself flowers. Jiggly Dad! Weird flex, but uh, <laughs> what's up, Jiggly? I don't know why it feels like the stream last night felt ages ago. That was literally just last night, Jiggly Dad. That is crazy. Jiggly Dad, how we doing? We breathing? We're going to celebrate any win that we have today, chat. Whether it's just waking up and all you did today was breathe. We're going to celebrate it. Celebrate those wins. All right. This love, I don't know. Rune five is so freaking high. All right, flowers, dude in Mesa, dude in Mesa, Arizona. Are you ready? Am I ready? Let's hope. Oh gosh, ads are so loud. You're excited. 
Okay, lower your expectations right now. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, this is an interesting production. Oh, I missed my cue. See? That's, I don't like that production for some reason. Hold on, hold on give me a moment. <laughs> Lower your expectations right now. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Do it in Mesa. Am I supposed to start now? <laughs> oh, I missed my cue again. Okay, first of all, they didn't highlight the words and said three, two, one. Okay, loungy flowers. These, these flowers are going to arrive a little late. Okay, here we go. Again. Sorry, it's not prime. <laughs> dream that can't be so we will ride till we weren't built a home and watched it burn I, I can't hear the key I didn't cry but then remembered I I can buy myself flowers there it is <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't hear <laughs> I couldn't hear it I told you, dude and Mesa, lower your expectations. We, 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 we were good. We, were we good? I don't know. We, we, <laughs> we were good. We would go, kind of dream that can't be so. We will ride, I don't know, till we weren't, I can't hear it. Built a home and watched it burn. I didn't want to leave you, I didn't want to lie Started to cry but then remembered I I can buy myself flowers <laughs> Write my name in the sand <laughs> Talk to myself for hours Say things you don't understand Sing it dude I can take myself dancing and I can hold my own hand Yeah, I can love me better than you can Can't love me better I can love me better, babe Can't love me better I can love me better Paint my nails Cherry red Mass of roses that you left No remorse No regret I forgive every word you said I didn't want to leave you I didn't want to fight Started to cry but then remembered I I can buy myself flowers Yeah, write my name in the sand Talk to myself for hours yeah. uh, Say things you don't understand I can take myself dancing, yeah, and I can hold my own hand. Yeah, I can love me better than you can. Can love me better. I can love me better, baby. Can love me better. I can love me better, baby. Can love me better. I can love me better, baby. Can love me better. I can love me. I didn't wanna leave you. I didn't want to fight Started to cry But then remembered I I can buy myself flowers Hey, yeah Write my name in the sand mm -hmm. I talk to myself for hours Yeah, yeah Say things you don't understand Oh, no I can take myself dancing Yeah, and I can hold my own head yeah, I can love me better than Yeah, I can love me better than You can No oh, 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 Yeah You can Oh, 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 oh. oh no Yeah, yeah, yeah Okay 
somehow made it through that one. And I had no clue. I couldn't remember, like, the melody for some reason, chat. Dude, Mesa, thank you for dancing with me. I appreciate you. Look at that. Dancing, 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 dancing. Hi, Mom. Uh, dancing, dancing, dancing. Yes. For some reason, I couldn't remember the melody. It just sounded weird for the verse or something like that. Uh, Jiggly Dad, thank you for the claps. Did you need something? Uh, dancing is too much fun. It's kind of underground track. <laughs> yes. Um, I, uh, I'm so proud of Miley Cyrus. She's an incredible artist, well deserved for that Grammy, um, and I believe they're going to be announcing um, the Grammy nomination soon, like this week, I think. Dancing is too much fun. Uh, Taco, are you back? Are you ready for sometimes? I can buy myself flowers, oh yeah. Write my name in the sand. Sounds right. Jiggly Dad, when are you streaming next? If y'all haven't already checked it out, check Jiggly Dad on Twitch here. They uh, stream music, kind of similar to what we do here, but arguably better, <laughs> with more patience than I. Uh, in terms of live learning, <laughs> um, Jiggly Dad, right there. Give him a follow if you haven't already. I can buy myself flowers. Oh, I realize some of y'all are in ad, ad purgatory right now. Sorry, less than two minutes. Buy my name in the sand, yeah. Did y'all see that video of like one of the top streamers here? I forget. Um, starts with a K. He's like one of the big streamers that like has like one like hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and they there's a video on like online that of them rating like a small streamer, just like some random small streamer I think in the UK or whatnot. And the there's so many of them they blessed that chat and that stream like she got like thousands of subs and she like completely just broke down. It's pretty heartwarming. Pretty crazy. Thursday, 11 p.m. Central U.S. time. Okay, so tomorrow. Wait, okay. 11 Central, so that's 9 o'clock my time? Those videos destroy you. We love the, the wholesomeness of it all, though. Also, I'm rocking this green. I like this. Look, green. I used to have my green uh, water thing. Okay, I'll wait for the ad purgatory so people, everybody can in, can enjoy sometimes. I'm very demure. You see those periodically, and it's always nice. Did y'all ever see the time the Sidemen crew? They surprised me with donations. This is like my early uh, years of Twitch, if you want to check that out. Oh, wait, that's the Sidemen song. But if you search Sidemen in Twitch, uh, you'll there's like a, a video. Of, and it, I think it's got like millions and millions of views on it by now. But anyway, they, they like popped into my stream and was like, hey, make us a song. And I, I, I coined the Sidemen song because I had no, no idea who they were. And um, they, in exchange for a donation. What are we calling this green, olive green, forest green, whatever it is, it looks good on Michael. Yes. Thank you. I, I don't know. Forest green? For it I'm I'm working it. Also, got a new haircut. Got a new haircut? Got a haircut, new hair. <laughs> Bromance moment number ninety eighty nine. I look good in green. There, here's some things to look forward to, chat, even though it may feel very like a depressing day. Wicked is coming out this month. It's almost Christmas if you are into Christmas. <laughs> uh, holidays around the corner, you know, and the year's almost done. 
Boy. 30 seconds. We're going to sing Sometimes by Michael Barnes. Can I get a Sometimes command? Exclamation point Sometimes. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I love it says new single. Bruh, you released that last year. It's not new. <laughs> it's new because it's the only single that has gone out. Oh. I recorded that song chat while I was dealing with the repercussions of my voice. So it's an interesting time to record my voice. Probably one of the hardest recordings I've ever done. But we got it done. Got it done. All right, chat. We're going to do sometimes, and this is for Taco. Well, Taco and Lila. Feel free to get hype in the chat because this is a dance song. Because you, you were dancing. I want to see more dancing in the chat. Do you play it live in the original key or no? I charted it out for myself. You charted my song out? My song? The thing is, I've I've hardly ever played it live, like in at gigs and stuff. But usually, when I sing it, I sing it to the track. So yes, original key. Jiggly Dad, you what? You charted my song. That's incredible. Yet more ways to make me feel inadequate. <laughs> Let's do it, chat. Sometimes, sometimes at the end of the day, all we have, all we can do is choose ourselves. Yeah, yeah, it was a while ago. I haven't published it. I should send it to you. What? I can just yell out the chords to you, but well, that's no fun. Um, this is sometimes. I wrote this at a very interesting time in my life. Not only where I was with my voice, but also where I was with the people in my life and me realizing that not everyone is here to stay. Here we go. And that's okay. Barnimals, make some noise. Let's go. I fell so hard I thought I'd never get up again You pushed me so far Felt like there was no end I was lost in your madness Trapped in the sadness of who I used to be I thought you would be there for me This is my Sabrina Carpenter moment But when you're all alone who will be there to take you home? Sing it if you know it now. Sometimes people are wrong, here for a season. Sometimes people leave without giving you a reason. Sometimes people need to bring you a lesson, like some sort of blessing to take. Wherever you go Come on Do you know how many tears I've shed for you? How many times I put aside what I wanted Just to do what's best for you? So many times And I'm sick of the maybes Heartaches you gave me Have left me with all this doubt now the question is, what happens now? But when you're all alone, who will be there to take you home? Sometimes people are only here for a season. Sometimes people leave without giving you a reason. 
sometimes people need to bring you a lesson Like some sort of blessing to take Wherever you go But even if they can't choose me I'll choose myself Yeah I'll choose myself Can I get an exclamation point choose? Yeah I'll choose myself Sometimes people run here for a season Sometimes people leave without giving you a reason Sometimes people need to bring you a lesson Like some sort of blessing to take Wherever you go If they can't choose me then I'll choose myself If they can't choose me then I'll choose myself If they can If they can Come, sing, sing If they can't save me If they can't save me then I'll save myself No, they can't save me so I'll save myself I'll choose myself. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. One more applause for that one. Because that was... Come on. The vocals are vocaling today. I love when that happens. Do it in Mesa. And now here is the breakdown of how to play that song. <laughs> If you want it, you'd be dead. Uh, maybe it's fate. I think I played on cable too. <laughs> Oops. I need to find a way to trigger dance emotes when I'm playing along. Yeah. If you must know, I'll play, I'll play the first chorus. Or first verse. Does it sound good as a ballad too? Oh, because I'm transposing it, so yes. So uh, verse is the same thing as a chorus. Um, Taco, there's supposed to be just one clap command. Tiny Habits, the artist? Sometimes people are here for a season. Sometimes people leave without giving you a reason. Sometimes people are here to bring you a lesson. Like I do know them. I know how to play their songs, though. I was going for like an early like Sheeran vibe, like early Sheeran, like like plus Sheeran vibe when I was writing the song. Do y'all want to hear the demo for that? Like me, like messing around with it. The sometimes written in April of 2023. This is called Sometimes Fake Through, June 20th, 2022. So the song was written a year before. Do you want to hear? Do you want to hear? Yes, of course. Here. You can hear. 
two, the fan in the background. One, two, three, four. Sometimes people are only here for a season. Also, um, before my voice went out. Sometimes people leave without giving you a reason. This is June 20th. I fell so hard, I thought I'd never get up again. Got pushed so far, felt like there was no way. I was lost in the madness, trapped in the sadness of who I used to be. I thought you would be there for me. But when you're all alone, Yes, yet. <laughs> wow, crazy. So the, the majority of uh, of that specific recording did kind of make it to the end of the actual production. So that's cool. But yeah, April, May is when I actually started writing it. Oh, here's, oh gosh, this is the actual recording from May. Oh no, it's going to sound, well. I'm going to fake my way through this. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Different key too. This is the more sheerness vibe that I was going for. Almost like the vibe of uh, Castle on the Hill sort of deal. But then when we got into the studio, I was like, "F it, let's do an '80s pop synth vibe." Because a lot of my stuff is acoustic heavy, and I was like, "Let's take a departure." If this might be the last song I release in a long time, I want it to sound completely different from what I've done. What I've already done. Let's see what the verse sounded like. I fell so hard for you, I thought I'd never get up again. Okay, different phrasing. You pushed me so far, I couldn't see it was all pretend. Okay, different lyrics. I was lost in the madness, trapped in the sadness of who I used to be. I thought you were the one for me. Pre. Yeah, that was always there. Interesting, right? I have never realized that you were already having concerns when you put this song. I had never realized that you were already having concerns when you... Oh, you can't tell? Oh, I could tell. Oh. See, this... <laughs> I will show you what would be in a documentary if I made it. <laughs> when I was recording this chat in July of... When did I record it? Um, September 30th, 2022. Okay, let's watch. This is an exclusive. This is what you come to the stream Sometimes for. People are here to bring you a lesson, like some sort of blessing to take. 
This is when my voice started. I couldn't make sense what was happening. Make you come back or move on. It's so challenging to record this song. What's this? Come on. I can probably dig a little more and connect it, but we have it, but like I wanna again, again. Always want another take. Even if they can choose me, I'll choose myself. I'll choose myself. Interesting. So in that process of recording that song, Chad, um, the first day was a total bust. Even though I was like dead on, like ready to record, I was like, let's do it. I wasn't in the mindset of this song. So did you end up getting takes that you were happy with or did it have to be done in production because I love the recording? Oh, I love this process and I love this question. Um, I did get an, end up getting takes that I, I was happy with, but it just it took a lot of time. And I thank freaking Jesse uh, so much for um, uh, being so gra graceful, a.k.a. The Last Johnson. Because he was very patient with me and was an amazing producer and vocal producer and um was very motivating because i easily got in my head the first day of recording that song chat i was ex excited to be there i was like let's do this but i wasn't in the mind the right mindset for the song itself i didn't believe what i was singing and the first day of recording it sounded decent but there wasn't like emotionality behind it and so at one point it got so frustrating for me that Jesse was like, just stop. We'll sleep on it. And the next morning, I was fired up. And I said, hit that record button, Jesse, let's go. And not only did my voice feel a little more free, but I was right in the emotionality of the song. And it, it ended up being so cool to record my frustration with where I was in my life and also... um you know, dealing with people leaving, if you will. And it just added, and it made this almost guttural sound when I'm when I'm proclaiming I'll choose my... It came from, like, somewhere within me that I don't normally... They've never tapped into, so it felt really cool to capture that. And I was... It was like night and day. Yes, he's so good, Jiggly. Yeah. And that, again, was in 2022. Man, don't you want new music? I do too. <laughs> oh, what's happening here? Um, excuse the crazy dramatic lighting. Um, it's day two here at the Johnson studio. Um, as you know, yesterday didn't go as well as oh, we see. thought it would. I'll let Michael uh, from the past explain what happened. Having some trouble vocally. We're going to try it again today and see what we can knock out. And I honestly do not know where my voice will sit today. Um, but, well, we'll have to see. I'm not expecting anything. And uh, regardless, making the drive down here was well worth it, even if we don't end up recording any much. And so, as Jesse said, moment by moment. And so we're going to see. So, yeah. But also the time will come. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm sure there'll be more. Listen, you want to know where the album is? It's on this damn phone. Look at my voice memos or voice notes. This is just a conglomeration of random songs and stuff. And ideas that I just haven't had the time to be in the studio with. To work out. But anyway. I know you're probably like... Play us something we've never heard before. I'm looking for something. Give me a moment.
Okay, hold on. Let me let me screen this for a moment. <laughs> One second, chat. Let me screen this for a moment. I have to, because I, I don't know what's on here. Never mind. Can't. <laughs> Never mind. Some things I gotta keep to myself. Uh, and then when I'm ready and I'm there, I can share it with you. Talking about feeling adequate, I have been intending to start writing songs for a while now, and I feel like I have had some great ideas. Of it I think, oh, I remember this. Nope. Oh, G. Lee Dad, um, songwriting 101, record it. Just have your voice memo voice notes whatever just recording the session because i cannot tell you how many times you might be in a session or you're writing yourself and then you come up with a great melody and you're singing it and it's fine and then you stop whatever it is you're doing you come back to it and you forget it and it's gone forever it's forever ever ever gone and you you'll be kicking yourself in the foot so just have it recording just make it a habit when you're gonna even if you don't think you have anything to to write that day, you don't think you have it in you, just hit the record button. It's better to be safe than sorry. You know what I mean? Join the Patreon if you want to hear the muted audio. Yeah, do that. Yes, record it. And I think this is great. We're going to talk about songwriting. Structure is great, but it is only just a, a roadmap of where to go. You don't have to follow it. Right? There's there's great songs out there that doesn't have a bridge. There are songs that don't have choruses that are just as great. You like they don't have to follow the, the same format of um of of basic song structure. You wanna know a song that doesn't have a chorus? The Animals, House of the Rising Sun. It's literally just verses i would argue uh, well here's one that doesn't follow the rule um this has six verses in this song but it's great tracy chapman's um uh fast car it's like six seven eight verses two choruses that's unheard of you usually you, you do a, a a verse a pre-chorus a chorus then another verse pre-chorus chorus bridge out but no they said we'll do six six of them your song is whatever you want your song to be. Yes. And make sure that you are, it's accomplishing what you want to say. Right? The chorus should be like the all-encompassing message, if you will. I mean, considering how much I love Fiona Apple, I feel like I'm okay with non-conventional songs. Right? Yes. Listen to great songwriters like Billy Joel. Um, I listened to a lot of Sarah Bareilles. That's very inspiring to me. Bruno Mars for like the soulful vibe of it all. Um, yeah, I think just listening to music in general is very, very helpful to any new songwriter. When you read it, yeah. Faster. I was thinking, uh, there's many songs that don't follow the structure. <laughs> and it And it works. Whatever song that we came up with last night, that was kind of fire. You were there, Jiggly. Can I tell y'all how I wrote um, my song, Universe? 
I think I've maybe told some of y'all, but Universe. Yes, Jiggly. I have to go back to it because now that the VOD's up, I'm going to go. That's my homework is to go be listen to it. So, real quickly, my song. Let me, let me, let me have you. How that song came about was I was trying to challenge myself to write a song every day in like the month of September. I don't know what year it was, 2016, 2017. I don't know. And I didn't write a whole month of songs, but this is one of the songs that came out of it. And the whole purpose of it was not to judge whatever came out when I started just messing around. It just, I wrote it down and somehow landed on this gorgeous progression, which to this day, I'm like, what? And I was like, okay. What is this song about? We're not going to judge it. Whatever words come out is what happens. So then I just started playing with the progression. Okay, I'm like, okay. Feels very sultry, feels very vibey. And to this day, I always kind of laugh at the the first verse because I'm like, (laughs) it's funny, okay? Listen. Your eyes, when you look at me. Eyes, they look. Yes, they do. That's very creative there, Michael. I think I'm feeling kind of strange. And I think the strange line works really well because of this seven chord. It's unsettling. And then. Your smile, when you smile at me. Erases all my pain away. Okay, now we're seeping in a little more and I wrote that and I was like what on paper doesn't make any sense I'm like or whatever and I'm like okay because the love that you share makes me wanna go there wherever you are gets a little more jazzy with that melody and every time that I try I get all bundled up inside and I can't move and then I'm like okay does it change Chords of the chorus? Where do we go? Like, let's see what it sounds like if I just strummed it. Let me, let me, let me have you. And all the pieces that make up your truth. When I thought of the line pieces, I thought of like a puzzle. When you find when you find somebody else that kind of is your other person, essentially, you're, you you fit the whole puzzle. So that's where pieces comes from. Let me, let me, let me have you. Now the pieces that make up your truth. Let me, let me, let me love you. And I don't know where the universe came from, but like, I was, I think it was very into space stuff. I want to be a part of your universe. I was like, oh, that's cool. Universe. And I like the line because there's lots of songs that say like, oh, I want to be part of your world. Or can I like, no one ever says like that. I think the universe is, is bigger than the world, bigger than this earth. It's, it's, it's massive, if you will. Right? It's a galaxy. There's a little, little mini song right there. You inspired me, chat, Jiggly Dad, to talk about songwriting. Oh. Listen to this. Jiggly with me, chat. This is a song that I wrote with um, my best friend, who is a award-winning playwright. He wrote it for his um, play. It's a song I wrote with him. It's not me on the vocals. It's actually a Broadway singer on this. The song is in the play. We just call it Milo's song because it's the character song. But take a listen. Produced by Michael Alvarado. I love it. It's like show and tell. Words we wrote were written as 
mistakes But the story I tell Will use the lessons that I take I've closed the book, we've reached the end Torn up pages now, too strong to bend A love always in draft, always stuck in rock But my story will be bookended with a heart that's tough Let me write my own story Let me pick up and turn the page Let me start a new chapter From before to my after And unlearn our disaster And own my narrative again survived the terrain by both giving up just a little bit enough but i think we were always meant to wane an original love tried with pain your veins no longer in my veins so your face will stay burned in my brain a love always in draft always stuck my story will be bookended with a heart that's tough. Let me write my own story. Let me pick up and turn the page. Let me start a new chapter from before to my after. Let me write my own story. Let me pick up and turn the page. Let me start a new chapter from before to Um, there you go. So that's a song that I co-wrote with my best friend, Nicholas Pilipo, who's a playwright and songwriter. He also helped write and produce my first DP called Twitch, not Twitch, <laughs> called Trust. Um, I can't imagine the satisfaction of having one of your songs with like this. It's so interesting. Jiggly Dad, just give me a bit of David Archuleta. Yes, Taco, come on. Um, it's very wordy heavy because it's almost musical kind of because we wrote it for what we thought was going to be in the play itself. Like they would break out into song, essentially that, that sort of feel, which is why it has that musical um, phrasing. Um, but yeah, it's really cool to, to, to think. I arrange those, like those strings, the guitar is playing by me um, and I came up with the melody essentially um, with, with Nicholas, but yeah. Um, it's really, really cool to, to see that happen because you have to understand the timeline of it all. Last year, I felt so creatively unfulfilled because of my voice. I was like going through the recovery. I couldn't sing. I didn't like gig. I had no place to be on stage and perform because I just wasn't in. I didn't have the physical uh, power to do so. And uh, for me to be given the opportunity to use my creative voice that way. And, and and to to write something for someone to display on stage like that was so cool because even though I'm not on that stage when they would perform it there's a piece of me that's in that that gets to be shared it's so cool it's so cool and that is for me where I, I um, started embracing more of the producer side of music and owning that title if you will because for a time i was like i don't see myself as a producer what are you talking about but like i made the strings i i sent those things over to michael and he pieced it all together like i came up with the arrangement 
I get that, you know? <laughs> it's yeah, great. I love it. Fantastic. I was terrified, but I'm so glad that um, I had the opportunity to work on that. Now I'm like show and tell all of the things. <laughs> There's a YouTube video of me singing this Justin Bieber song. Oh, thank you. I, you know what? Celebrating wins, especially today, where you might feel like you're you've lost something. I think it's important. So yeah. Do you guys ever say something and realize, dang, I, I am a nerd? Absolutely. Hi, Allie. There's a YouTube video of me singing. Is there? Maybe I saw that command on here. The song "Lonely" by um. Oops, I can spell. Wow. Yeah, by Justin Bieber. I recorded this and produced it myself. Why not play that as well? <laughs> um, my heart goes out to Bieber because he was so young. And I think a lot of us just kind of dismissed what he was feeling when he clearly was going through something and this song kind of explains where his headspace has been and I just have more love for him than ever before. Um, and it's resonant for me because sometimes I feel lonely. This is lonely. Take two, sense and speed. So serious, Michael. You can catch this on YouTube. Everybody knows my name, but something about it still feels strange. Like looking in a mirror, trying to steady yourself and seeing somebody else. And everything is not the same now. It feels like all our lives have changed Maybe when I'm older it'll all calm down But it's killing me now What if you had it all But nobody to call Maybe then you'd know me Cause I've had everything But no one's listening and that's just fucking lonely I'm so lonely Lonely Everybody knows my past now Like my house was always made of glass Maybe that's the price you pay for the money and fame at an early age And everybody saw me sick And it felt like no one gave a shit They criticized the things I did as an idiot kid What if you had it all But nobody to call Maybe then you know me Cause I've had everything But no one's listening And that's just fucking lonely I'm so lonely Lonely I'm so lonely Great song. Oh, Taco, that could not be more true. I, I don't know why, but it like it resonates with me now, like more than ever. <laughs> I 
Oh, you'll love this. Wait, Jiggly Dad, are you in here? Jiggly, Jiggly, Jiggly. Remember, I think you were in the stream when, when we remade Love You for a Long Time on Ableton 2024 version, right? You with me? But years prior, two years prior, I don't know, whatever it was, I did my first scratch at it. The first time is was not as well. You be the judge. <laughs> this is 2021. Oh gosh, you never heard the final product, product though. Yeah, cause I'm a starter and not a finisher. <laughs> but um, here's this is not the one we did. We worked on this is this is like really really rough. I'm. I'm just going to not apologize, but I'll just warn you now. If it plays. But also we need it. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we need it. <laughs> There's... Ambient noise. If you listen with headphones, you can hear my parents talking loudly in the background. <laughs> like a vision from the old west wind, like a bright new dream that I was stepping in. I will say I vocals were serving because obviously better vocally than about that moment all of the time. That I could never make this up. Featuring my I mom and dad. Reason I'm not giving it up. I felt the fever and I knew it was mine. Oh, I am going to got harmonies too. for a long time. And in the morning when I'm waking up, I swear you're the first thing that I'm thinking of. I feel it in my body, know it in my mind. Oh, I. I'm gonna love you for a long time I'm gonna love you for a long time I'm gonna love you for a long time Okay <laughs> Um Yeah Yeah Interesting Interesting, huh? And in the morning when I'm waking up, I swear that you're the first thing that I'm thinking of. Okay, I think that's all I have for show and tell, chat. <laughs> <clears throat> So many tracks here. Okay. Run that through whatever that waves plug in for the background noise removal, and boom, you're golden. <laughs> and the impulse is like, oh, if I can just take these vocals that I have on this recording and pop it onto the to the first recording. Um to the recording we made this year, but that would be this um would it be that would be like a slap in the face to like where I am now, you know, not acknowledging. Good night, Taco. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, I'm not going to be on for much longer because I also have to get to bed. I will say, Jiggly Dad, one of my one of my accomplishments for producing this year. Don't try to do it while streaming. Yeah, no. Uh, is recreating this gem of Ariana's yes and I followed a tutorial like step by step on on YouTube even though I just copied what they did I felt like a badass that the fact that I was able to do it myself 
Good night. Dance party. Yeah, you wanna dance? Because there were moments in that tutorial that you, I didn't have the plugin, so I had to put on, like, I had to use different resources. That was my first time, like, sampling tones and making a bass line. So cool. Instructions unclear, yeah. Thank you, Jiggly. And um, don't don't fret like even doing something like that, even though you're as a learning thing, it's great because you understand like the production of it all. Like, oh, why do they choose that instrument, and why does that instrument, this plugin work well for this? And you really get to see like the anatomy of a song, and specifically with that song because it's a Max Martin song, very simple in the production if you think about it for the most part, and then everything just kind of adds to it too. So, yeah it's great it's great thank you jiggly dad ow okay and now that concludes um our show and tell segment of the stream <laughs> good night taco oh my god oh yeah i look forward to catching your next stream jiggly dad you're gonna be on tomorrow Let's see if i can make it I definitely want to catch your streams. I should do maybe one last song. I'll let you pick Jiggly Dad. Do you have an artist you want to hear? You've been very kind to uh, engage with me tonight. And I appreciate that very much. I appreciate you never any pressure, but always great to have you there. Yeah, thank you. Anything you want to hear? You said early like loungy singers. If you want some crooning, some Frank Sinatra, like something, I'm I want to do that for you before we go to bed. The world's your oyster because we can look up anything on the YouTube's. I might be to a song choice, but right now I'm feeling pretty good. So you let me know. You can also sing songs in different languages. Um, I was referring to the arrangement of the arrangement of flowers. Oh, 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 got it. <laughs> you know me. I'm a sucker for my Sarah B. Maggie. Sarah. Yes. Hmm.
It's all good. It's late. We're going to do She Used to Be Mine. Because I didn't get to sing anything for the musical theater kid in me. So we're going to do it now. Um, thank you so much. There's little Sarah Bareilles, um from Waitress. She used to be mine. The 11 o'clock number. Literally 11 o'clock because it's 11 o'clock almost pretty much. Uh, but thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. not simple to say most days I don't recognize me these shoes and this apron that place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them it's not easy to know that I'm not anything like I used to be, although it's true I was never attention sweet center. I still remember that girl. She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. She is hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help She is messy, but she's kind She is lonely Most of the time She is always mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie She is gone, but she used to be mine It's not what I asked for Sometimes life Just slips in through a back door And carves out a person And makes you believe it's all true And now I've got you But you're not what I asked for If I'm honest I know I would give it all back for a chance to start over and rewrite an ending or two for the girl that I knew who'd be reckless just enough who gets her but who learns how to toughen up when she's bruised and gets used by a man who can't love and then she'll get stuck and be scared of the life that's inside her growing stronger each day till it finally reminds her to fight just a little to bring back the fire in her eyes that's been gone but it used to be mine oh it used to be
the breath control. But working on the breath control as much as possible. If there's one thing I got right in that song, I wanted to make sure I got that note. And I think I did a pretty solid job. All right. Thank you, Jiggly Dad. I appreciate you. For anyone that might be lurking, please go follow Jiggly Dad. They're going to be going live tomorrow. 11? 9. 9? What'd you say? 11 p.m. Central. 9 my time. Uh, oh my gosh. Excuse me? Yeah. Ah! Excuse me? Again. Excuse me. I've been pretty good, Dyer. Have you been? Um, I think I want to send you to Closure Club. I realized sort of that that I didn't have my chat client ready. Let me drop slices of pie. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. If y'all wouldn't mind um, joining us in the raid, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you for being here and for showing up for yourselves. And again, any feeling you may have, it is completely and utterly valid. You might see more of me here <laughs> just because i got to cope. And music is, is that outlet for me. Um, but to anyone that needs community, I, I welcome you here. We're going to go to our friend. Heathy, or Closure Club, if you will. Oh my god. Oh, I'm tired. Alright, Closure Club. Go send them love. I appreciate that very much. And in unprecedented times could be dark times, but as Harris had said in her final speech, we become the light in a area of darkness which is profoundly beautiful and it's true so radiate my friends be the light you want to see in the world okay I appreciate y'all have a great rest of your week remember to breathe drink water um, and we'll see you soon Bye-bye. Awkward bye. Bye. That's been gone, but it used to be mine.